Well, so we've just got this generator. It's a Promac PX8000 AVR. Um, AVR stands for automatic voltage regulation. I have the side cover off it at the moment. I was just, I was, I was the side cover off this side here. I was taking a wee look, but as, if you take a look at the actual side cover, you can see they're all, let's see, they're all padded for sound, sound insulation, I suppose. Um, give you some specs in the generator. So it runs 240 volt or 230, whatever you would want to call it, and it also does 115 volts. 50 hertz, it's key start, it's also pool start. I think it takes 27 litres of petrol, six kilo, or six kVA uh, peak, which is equivalent to 5.4 kilowatts peak. Uh, a kVA continuous is five, kilowatt continuous is 4.5. Um, it runs a Lonson engine apparently, and the the engine number is SR190F. So I was actually speaking to the guy about this off and he was saying that Honda essentially changed their manufacturing process as far as I can recall what he said and Lonson bought out a lot of Honda's manufacturing equipment for their engines. So what the guy was telling me, and this guy has been in the, the generator and lawnmower strimmer part two business, well not, not really part two, generator and lawnmower business um, for 30 years plus, so he knows what he is talking about. Essentially it's the same as a, a Honda engine, he says parts here in the UK are easy enough to get and um, I got a very good deal on it, I've known this guy for quite a while, so uh, yeah, just shout out to Stephen at Dennis Wilson's at the Navy, uh, thanks for a good deal. So anyway, it does 0.42cc uh, is the engine displacement. It's 94 kilos in weight. It's actually not that bad. Um, two of us lifted it out of the back of my van, but I can't move it about my own, no problem. Like I was saying, it's key start. Um, I'll start it up here in a wee minute. That's 75% load, apparently it uses two liters per hour. 100% load, 2.66 per hour. I roughly worked it out. 30% load to be using half a litre per hour and 97 decibels is the stated uh, noise level. So I was going to buy a smaller one, um, but I'm in the process of essentially, or basically uh, I, need, I need a bigger one for things I'm going to be running in the future. And um, this gives me the opportunity to basically run the whole house of this generator, probably minus the electric shower, I think it's 8.5 kilowatts, but I'll be able to comfortably run the house, I'll be able to run the oven, my oven I'll take, I think the draw on the oven was 7.5 amps, I measured it up, which is about, I can't right remember, was it 1500 or 1700 watts? So this will be able to run the oven, the fridge and freezer, once the fridge and freezer kick in, they, the initial startup was 4.5 amps, um, and then I think it dropped down to about 1 amp, 1.5 amps. So again, that's still what's that 7.5, that's 11.5, 12. So around about 12 amps. You'd be drawing this here as you will continuously output 19 amps. So you can run fridge, freezer. I would guess, I don't actually know, I didn't, I didn't measure the, the amperage the, uh, on the immersion heater, but it's on a 15 amp fuse. So I'm not too sure what I'd be able to draw from it. but. Yes, yeah, so it'll be able to run fridge, freezer, kettle, TV, lights. You, you know, you'll be able to keep your broadband up if the electric goes out. Again, don't be really stupid and, and be running the oven, you, you, the kettle, the microwave, the everything at once. You know, so I'd be a bit, a bit sensible about it. But yeah, so this is a Pramac PX8000, wheels on it. And well, actually, I'll oh, set the camera down here. The handle comes out on it. Then bring you back over. So up in here is your fuel shut off valve, turn the fuel on, put your choke on, and the power generation is currently off at the minute and
so yeah I think the, the stated run time I think the stated run time is about 12 10 or 12 hours in a full tank so you can see the tank's very big it's obviously it's electric start there's your battery your air filter carburetor you can actually see so the carburetor is it give me a never heard of that no you can see it's obviously been checked for torque specs or it's been you know somebody has went over it they've drew a line here marked that up to there everything you know obviously to check nothing's come loose or whatever there's your exhaust your wheels the cover i put the cover back on it does dampen the sound a wee bit more but the carburetor you know obviously after you're done with it you're going to want to drain the carb and obviously spray a wee bit of maybe engine oil a wee tablespoon or teaspoon of engine oil into the barrel and just give it a couple of wee pulls to turn it over but yeah overall pleased with my purchase and it seems like a good generator for my usage like i said 240 115 there's your changeover switch i don't actually know what that's for that's maybe just a light I'll tell you i haven't actually turned that on yet so yeah uh, power generation on and off it has an r meter here it gives you your voltage read or voltage readout and it also gives you your hertz readout so like i said it's 50 hertz so yeah just in case anybody's interested in buying one it does to me seem like a pretty good generator so far haven't used it much but it has the automatic voltage regulation which essentially means you'll be able to run things like computers off it and get a sort of a steady a nice a nice clean voltage output instead of having a lot of spikes in your voltage which you would get on sort of I suppose generators without avr technology but hopefully this will help you make up your mind if you're you're sort of thinking about buying one